Hi, my name is Ken Smith. Thanks for popping in. I have a YouTube channel, and that's what you're actually looking at right now. Uh, by the way, that's Stella. I have three dogs you'll see in most all of my videos. Uh, so my channel is mostly about largemouth bass fishing in the United States, stuff like this. I am a tournament, an avid tournament bass angler uh, with some success. Uh, for example, this year I've won three times. I've won twice on Sam Rayburn and once on Toledo Bend. And I do videos uh, both showing you how I practice for tournaments, how I fish the tournaments. A lot of my footage is actual tournament footage. Tournament footage just like this right here. It does look like it opens up a little bit, honestly. That's the only reason Can't get from point A to point B fast enough. That's good fish, that's good fish. Hold on, keep him down. So I'll probably have commentary about this later, but River and I drew out together boater on boater for the BFL today here on Toledo Bend. And he caught a four pounder. I, I had three or four, and then his third fish was a four pounder. And I said, you know, earlier in the day I meant to say this. I said, we should just agree, since we're fishing against each other and we're having a lot of fun, let's just split whatever we win. And he said, man, that's fine with me. Now he said that at the point when he had the biggest fish in the boat. I come around a corner back out here a minute ago. And I caught that one and then I caught that one. And uh, it's looking like maybe we covered our expenses. What do you think? So the camera died a few minutes ago and uh, you know, choosing a proper partner is not about a guy who can catch fish because I just look for a good bird dog. So Moon Pie bird dog will be one up with the frog, missed it. And I pitched my little Cinco in there and let me show you what I caught. So that is gonna help our average. That fish is, that fish is 22 inches long, 21 inches long. It probably don't weigh five pounds, maybe six, but we got that in a four pounder so far. So you'll see one of my favorite techniques is A-rig fishing, not all, everything I do. So here's some good A-rig bites. Oh my gosh, I got a giant kicker. I got a big start pulling drag when you hit it. That's a five. Got it. That's a nice one. By the way. That's Dickie's double right before that. I love to flip. This is a couple of my favorite bites and all this footage is actually footage from this year that you're watching. I keep thinking that we'll catch a great big one in one of these middle bushes. I think the biggest fish I ever caught in Raven was in a bush like this out in the middle of a bay in the, in the canyons. I the Cinco in there and went tonk and swam out. I caught that fish and I had guys all around me and I just brought her up to the side. I'm like, yeah. Like 
I was just saying, there ought to be a big in one of them bushes right out there. Yeah. Big fish. Big fish. I don't think this is a bad I think it's a Good fish. Just buddy. On the circle. Six pounder. Uh, one of our wins this year was uh, actually was in December of last year, so about seven months ago. Uh, we had uh, this stringer of fish in an Outlaw Outdoors tournament with a gigantic kicker, as you'll see right here. We just had a circus here. We had about 21 pounds. And Newberry says, I think I got one. And look at this fish. Look, maybe the biggest fish I've ever seen in this lake. I think it's my biggest. Oh my God, what a fish. On a little do nothing drain with 20 minutes left. I am shaking. <laughs> oh, that may get us to 30. That is awesome. stuff we do includes instructional videos and not just instruction from me. I have some really, really good friends who are really, really good fishermen. Uh, we did a great series. I think there's nine videos in this series with uh, Glenn Freeman and Albert Collins. Now, if you're not from East Texas, you may not know those names, but here's just a sense of one of their. This is actually a little bit of Glenn's, who is a, t a guide on Toledo Bend. Here's a little bit of his resume. But then you got nine FLW wins on Toledo Bend. So you've won 10 times over there. How many events do you think you fished to win 10 times? I counted them. How many? You have fished since 1991, 25 events over there, and you've won 10 of them. You've won 40% of the events you fished on Toledo Bend. So following that video was uh, about, oh, probably two hours of just great instructional videos on how to fish offshore. There's a playlist on my channel. You can see all that information. Uh, we also did a great series with FLW uh, Tour Pro Clark Ream on reading your electronics. There's a series. Matter of fact, here's a quick excerpt from that. It looks like an underwater point right there. There's a school of fish to the side right there. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? So I'm, this. I'm just going to click on it. You can see it, the shadow coming off that school. Mm -hmm. One of the things I did recently that I really enjoyed was fishing with uh, Kevin Lacione, who is a who was the uh, Costa uh, champion at Rayburn last year, had an, uh, won the tournament by, by over 11 pounds, and he taught me something about looking for some offshore, something offshore, and that being specific types of stumps. So we did a great video on that. Here's a little excerpt from and that then again here. You actually see he missed it just to the side. It's on the left of his side imaging. But once again, you can see it in both 2 and 3D on the right. You'll note how hard it is to see on traditional 2D bottom right. But you can see it very obviously on the top right. And you can also see the bait fish and the fish around that. We spot. also are in the process of doing a great series with Todd Driscoll, Texas Park and Wildlife field biologist. Uh, you can check out that series on my website or here on YouTube as well. By the way, my website is www.kensmithfishing.com, just as you would expect. I also am on Instagram and on Facebook. So any one of those venues you can find me on. Uh, some other things that we do include, uh, include some fun stuff. For example, my, uh, my uh, brother-in-law, uh, DJ, didn't know much about bass fishing. So I did a uh, what I found to be a pretty funny but also instructional video talking to him about uh, what he needs to know about bass fishing because he watches some of my videos. So here's a quick excerpt on uh, that video explaining to DJ, which you as a bass fisherman have always answered, why do you need a boat that goes that fast? Here's how I summed it up for DJ. This is a very large Mercury 250 horsepower four-stroke V8. Yes, it will go fast. It will go in the 70s. There are boats that will go faster and there are boats that will go slower. If a boat is very slow in our world, it's known as a sled or a ski boat. But in this world, 
we like to run fast boats. Why do we run fast boats? Well, if you could go to the car lot and you could buy a Pinto or a Porsche, which one would you? We also do a lot of uh, product testing. So last year I had one of the first four-stroke Mercury's uh, 250 Pro XS in the United States, and we did a significant amount of prop testing. So here's a quick e excerpt from that prop testing and video. It's windy. Let's check the whole shot here. So we're running, uh, we're 57% full of fuel, three blade Fury, 24 pitch prop. Here we go. reviews so I am a lose guy here's sort of a little bit we did recently on some lose rods and you'll hear me talk about the lose rods and reels quite a bit I'm a big believer uh, but here's a little snippet about uh, some of the rods that I was taking out on just a hot summer day to go deep I'm using three different Carolina rig rods this is that Magnum Bass Rod 3 and if you go back to the Newberry video this is one of his go-to rods for a whole bunch of stuff I have discovered I really like throwing it with a uh, with the Carolina rig, it's a seven foot six inch rod. It's paired with a wide spool reel so I can put a lot more 20 pound line. Also, on. I have discovered that in fact, my GoPro is waterproof. So we just did some great underwater footage that we'll continue to do showing how certain baits look underwater. This is a new uh, six cents suspending quake bait. So it's a rattle bait that suspends when you stop it. It weighs more than a half an ounce. So it's really easy to throw and it's got some cool moves. Check this out. Uh, we also are fans of giant fish other than bass. So uh, we caught a giant op. We still think it might have been a, a state record, excuse me, a lake record for Sam Rayburn. We didn't weigh it, but here's a little excerpt from uh, my buddy Brian Branham, who is a guide on Rayburn, uh, fighting that fish and getting that fish up. And we actually got that fish in the boat uh, at the end of this and video. And this is a very large fish. Look at the size of that guy. <laughs> Bodie, you do not want to get in because he might this get is you. An amazingly large fish. I've never caught a fish this large. Probably not even in salt water. <laughs> Getting him out here to open water yeah. away from the brush he was in. Hey, Brian, that's my rod, so I appreciate if you didn't try to boat flip him. I'm not going to try to <laughs> boat flip him. Oh, my goodness. Look at him. There he is. There he is. Look at the size of that. <laughs> <laughs> also had the opportunity to go down with a buddy of mine into uh, Mobile, Alabama a couple of years ago, and we caught a 196 pound yellowfin tuna. I've got that entire from hook set to us boating that fish on my website, you can, or excuse me, on my YouTube channel. You can check that video out as well. And we just do some goofy fun stuff. So. Uh, if you've never seen a guy backlash a uh, ceiling fan, I'm out in the garage and I walk in. <laughs> and I don't know what exactly he pulled off here. And that's not a chair dance. He got a backlash. There's my line. There's $13 worth of line laying there on the floor. But now he backlashed a ceiling fan. He has to be the only <laughs> human being to ever backlash a ceiling fan. Where you go? No, I just need to. Organize it. Oh wait, open that box back up for me, would you? No. Let's show the people at home how I you know organize. Exactly where it's at. <laughs> so let's say you wanted a oh I don't know, a lizard. Which box would that be in? It's laying right there. Lizard box. Point. Let me let's see it. Look, he didn't even have to look. Oh, that's, that's not a lizard. That's not a lizard. Not <laughs> that's not a lizard. It's right there. That, that's, yeah, that's absolutely not a lizard. Not a lizard. Right. That would not be a lizard there. Uh, All lizard. Right. All right, give him, oh, give good, him something good. else. What do you want uh, to see? Um, we need to see um, a, a rattle trap in. <laughs> oh, <look at> it. <laughs> that didn't take two and a half. That's seconds. not a rattle trap. Well, <laughs> well, but that's what he likes. He prefers the big eyed. What else you want? Let's see a centipede. Let's see a centipede. Centipede. One Mississippi. Two Mississippi. Oh, that's, that's impressive. Oh, that's good. That's impressive. That's really good. Good 
Let's see a watermelon candy fluke. One Mississippi. Oh, wait, two Mississippi. I, those are down here. In three Boston, Mississippi. <laughs> four Mississippi. Five Mississippi. Oh man. Six Mississippi. Right hey, oh, that was not. Nice. <laughs> it's like a roper. Oh, he throws his man. hands up when he gets a cap tie. Woo! <laughs> Broken two rod tips and flattened three guys over here. Um, anytime, so I'm an old Southwest Conference guy. I went to the University of Arkansas. Anytime I get a chance to make fun of Aggies, I'm going to take that chance. And I got a buddy whose son went to AM, so anytime I get a chance to make fun of the O'Connor boy, I do. Need to hold that one up. Reed O'Connor, look at here. I caught a big one. That's a big Reed O'Connor fish. Aggie fishing team, that's what they try to catch right there. They sit on this spot all day long now. And I also take shots at some other people, including my take on how a penalty should look in Major League Fishing, and we called it the Extreme Fishing League, and it would look like this. That is a, that's a fish landing violation. That is a flip fish, fish on the carpet. That is two minutes in the penalty box. And then just because I'm outdoors a lot, I get a lot of wildlife footage. Uh, one of my favorite openings to a video this year was uh, I was sitting about to do a little bit of an intro. A lot of times during my videos, I'll stop during the day, especially in practice, and tell you what I'm thinking and what I'm doing and what I'm going to do next. And I had just sat down to do this, and uh, this is some pretty cool fit footage. Excuse me. Got a pair of eagles just over here that's who you can hear yakking uh, i thought we could maybe talk a little bit about our practice day as we go so run across rattlesnakes alligators all kinds of fun stuff <laughs> i've got a lot of alligator footage on my on my youtube channel but uh ran across something that i haven't seen many of in my life a little timber rattler and no, my hand is not this close to this timber rattler. I actually took a loose rod and taped my GoPro camera to the end of the rod and put it down there, but he's not happy right here. Ooh, he is not happy. By the way, that little rattlesnake was released freely. I did not mess with him. I just wanted to get a little bit of footage of him. So that's my timber rattler. Uh, so lots of wildlife. I am still looking for Bigfoot footage. Uh, I'm dying for a Bigfoot. I gave my 80 year old mother a set of night vision binoculars the other night in case a Bigfoot wanders onto her property. So that's what my YouTube channel is about. It's a lot of fun. It's about teaching you uh, how to fish, how to catch more fish, how to tournament fish, the do's and don'ts, the ins and outs. Uh, if you'll give me a chance, I think you'll really enjoy it. You can click subscribe, come check us out. Um, I think you'll enjoy the video. I try to get at least two videos out a week. And on top of everything else I do, I also post Rayburn and Toledo Bend fishing reports. I usually get one of those up a week. Uh, we're filming this in uh, early, early August of 2019. And I think I've got about 40 videos in that playlist alone from this year. So we, keep, we continue to give you updates on water level, uh, where there's grass, where there's not grass, where it's safe to run. By the way, my whole YouTube existence started because I hit a, uh, a rock wall in a BFL terminal, Fort Gibson. And when I told a buddy, I'm like, I hit something. He goes, yeah, there's a rock wall there. And I said, it's not on a map. He goes, yeah, but everybody knows it's there. So because of that, my first group of videos on YouTube were map tips for Rayburn. So I've got it two entire series just talking about where it's safe to run, where is there good fishing, where to stay, all interesting stuff around Rayburn. So you can check that out on my YouTube channel. Again, so I'm giving you two waypoints right where the hard timber line starts. Uh, the second one is going to be 3110.641 by 9404.128. Thanks for checking me out. I hope you enjoy these. I hope you subscribe. I hope to see you on Facebook. Uh, just thanks for dropping in. Guys.